Well, this is the fourth in our series called Fixer Upper. Uh, we enjoy before and after stories, uh, homes that are a mess and then they become beautiful. And I thought, how about a series on Fixer Upper on the way we think so we can move from unhappy uh, to happy. Uh, Apostle Paul was beaten in Philippi and his, his back was a mess and he was thrown in prison. And yet in the middle of the night, we find him and his uh, friend Silas singing uh, praises uh, to God. So how could he do that? How, he's lost his freedom. He's in prison. How can he do that? How could he be, have, be joyful? That's what we're talking about in this series. Uh, the key is in another word he uses in the, in the book. He uses joy 19 times. The other word is mind. He uses it six times. The way to experience true happiness is to learn to think right. Now, I told you um, uh, a couple weeks ago that the book is organized around five wrong ways to think and five right ways to think. Uh, so today, uh, we're going to look at the one, uh, one of the wrong ways to think is to think circumstances determine our happiness. You know, you get sick, you lose your job, uh, you break up with a girlfriend, uh, things, you know, and you say, well, I have every right to be unhappy. Okay, that's circumstances. But Paul says, no, circumstances don't determine your happiness. He was thrown in prison. He was beaten, and yet he was happy. And so circumstances don't uh, experience. So the right way to think is to think God-centered, think in a God-centered way. And uh, so the point I want to make today is make serving Christ your purpose for living. To be God-centered, you want to make serving Christ your purpose for living. Paul says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. His whole purpose in living is Christ. Uh, and he can serve Christ uh, living. Then he goes on in uh, the first chapter, verse uh, 28. Without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you, this is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God. So Christians, like today, were opposed in the Philippians' day, for it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him. That's a very odd, odd line. Since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had and now hear that I still have. Paul was, oh, was opposed everywhere he went. He suffered. He was thrown in prison many, many times, beaten many, many times. Uh, and he says, it's been given to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe, but to suffer. So the question I want you to turn and, and, and share with somebody in your group is, have you suffered or know someone who has suffered who was joyful? So turn and, and discuss that for a moment. So in order to be happy, we can't focus on our circumstances, but we have to focus on God and what God's doing in this situation and making Christ the purpose for our living. So I hope you can experience that this week and uh, have a great uh, group discussion. Hope you'll go through the journal, pray for each other, uh, have a good time together. Thank you.